Let's take a look at what we're drinking today. Today I'm very excited to be opening this 2016 Barbera from Borjon, which happens to be one of my favorite wineries and was the first wine club that I ever joined. Let's give this thing a crack. Years ago, a good friend of mine bought some property up in El Dorado County. Around that time, I hadn't really started drinking wine seriously nor professionally, so I didn't really know that much and hadn't toured the area in any capacity. In the little town of Plymouth, there's this wonderful market, Pokerville. If you're ever in the area, highly recommend you check it out. They have a wonderful selection of all of the local wines. Given my curious nature, I decided to pick up a couple bottles every time that I went up to visit. and this wine right here was the one that convinced me that they've got something great going on in that valley and got me to sign up for their club. Typically, uh, Bourjon's flagship is their Zinfandel, but this Barbera is my absolute favorite wine that they make. They spend a lot of time crafting it, not just for the Reposado, but they have a Complejo and a Reserva, which are also very fantastic wines. Here we have the 2016 vintage. I've had the pleasure of drinking the 14 and the 15, and I would have to say the 16 has a lot going on for it that I really like. So with this wine clocking in at 14.8%, you would expect there to be a lot of alcohol on the nose, and it's there, but only slightly. There's a lot of fragrant red fruit to it, very floral. A nice little musty spice accent to it as well. More, more in the clove direction, I would say. Some burnt cinnamon. And let's go for a taste. Immediately you get a smattering of vibrant red fruit more of the acidic variety. Some cranberry, pomegranate esters, predominant, maybe a little red plum that's not quite ripe enough yet. Not to say that that's a detractor for this wine by any means. Good umami in the mid palate. Those fruits are still there and again, not a whole lot of tannins to dry you out. So you get a nice good sweetness that lingers for just the right amount of time, slowly decrescendoing as it goes down. And right there on the finish, you get that little tinge of acidity and a little citric acid specific. Giving it a good swirl will help open it up and let it breathe. You can pour yourself a glass and walk away from it for maybe 15, 20 minutes or open up the bottle and let it sit for an hour. 
As it opens up a little more, there is a little soft expression of pepper. It's a mix of green and white pepper. Maybe a touch of ground cardamom. A delightful wine. As I said, one of my favorites. And I would categorize this as dangerously drinkable. With the punch that it packs at 14.8%, you're not really going to feel that if you're pairing this with a meal. If you're drinking it on its own, by about maybe the second glass, the alcohol will start to kick in. But with some food padding, you could easily get through half, if not three quarters of this bottle before you start to really feel it. And depending upon your constitution, that could be a good thing, that could be a bad thing. You can't go wrong whenever you see this label. Pick yourself up a bottle, give it a test, see if it jives with your palate, and you wouldn't, won't go wrong by stocking up on a half case or a case of this to enjoy. This isn't a wine that I would lay down and age for a considerable amount of time. Probably have another couple years on it where the sugars will break down and provide a little less sweet drinking experience. So you could put it down and look towards maybe 2023, 2022 as being a good time to reach, a good time for this wine to reach its peak. But you never really know. If you're feeling like drinking it, then open it up. That's what it's all about. Have yourself a good time and this wine will deliver. Have myself another sip here. Oh, wonderful. Now, in the interest of science, I'm gonna see how this oxidizes over a 24 hour period. But unfortunately, I accidentally deleted those files. In the future, I will review this wine again, albeit a different vintage. Thanks for watching.